They say that uh, the Nigeria politicians are fleeing to UK, America because of end bad governance protest that is coming up. <laughs> As we they talk now, they say Lagos State oh, don't go put oro <laughs> at their celebration of their masquerade the same day of the protest. <laughs> As we are talking right now, they say even National Assembly self, they don't go into reserve to. <laughs> Because of that, most of them now don't book ticket. This is not information where they come underground. But however, I go play you this video. May you hear them as this our brother take narrate them how it take happen. Welcome back to Barabas Jews. Now watch this video from beginning to end for you to know that somebody come to one live stream in TikTok and break this information before now that these people are planning if this continue they are going to go into reserve so that everybody go jackpa come out <laughs> they don't want to be like kenya may they say they see that politician that they push him they don't want that kind of story they want the aside then they instigate the youth may they fight themselves as you know now some part of the youth don't all say ah they the protest this one that one they don't go join they haven't go for this one now some say they go protest this one now is going to be a fight between the youth and the youth apc apc toss and the people will want better their country according to as they take token but however our own talk now be say no matter what thing you do to nigeria my brothers my sister if people cannot change this country unless we go back to the root what is the root how did we get to come together as one people then we'll have a discussion if this is not done protest from today to tomorrow key everybody key whoever you want to key you cannot stop it remember that after the protest you cannot um calm down the agitation that is going on in Nigeria. This is one thing you guys have to know. But however, let us watch this video and hear what this our brother talk before we come back and, and, and continue. It is no longer news that the Nigerian Senate House of Rep embarked on seven weeks recess to resume September 17. The Senate and House of Representatives have embarked on their annual recess. The lawmakers are expected to resume the plenary on September 17. Now, this recess they embarked people are trying to normalize it you know i know that they came back from break a few weeks ago but um when you look at the situation at hand now you see that protest is about to happen in a country and these people are just i will call it an emergency recess that they are going but you know what how many of you remember this video we made this prediction that this will happen listen to this then finally before i allow another person to talk I want you to know that currently intelligence have revealed that many of the politicians have bought their flight ticket. Majority of them is flying to UK. Majority of them is flying to France. Minority of them is coming to the US. Minority of them is uh, fly fleeing to neighboring African countries mm. with the exception of Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali. Mm. This is all I want to say. God bless you. Good night. More, more, more questions, more question, sir. Why are they trying to flee out of Nigeria because of the protest? What is their fear? Okay. Now, after saying this, mark down the date and what I'm going to do. Okay. The protest, some say 1st August, some say 29th of July, right? Yes. Watch out when they're going to stop their meetings in the National Assembly. Hmm. Okay. Watch out when they are going to stop their meetings in National Assembly. But it's very unfortunate because they think that this protest is like NSAS. Guys have mobilized themselves that they're waiting for them wherever they want to go. All this money they use for their SUVs, for their houses, they will they will cough it up. They will cough it up. Mm. The nuts are bent on it. Okay, have you seen the video of people who we are giving palliative? What do you think? Do you think that uh, it's because of what is about to happen that is making them to go for recess? If you ask me, I will tell you that um, it has a link with the protest. I think um, if they wanted to go to recess, it's supposed to be from the mid of August. From August break, they would do that. But let me know what you think about this. For those of you who are trying to oppose uh, the protest, who are trying to say that it's not important or why is it that people want to protest, the protest has not been working before. This is just all about fear. And I keep on telling people that any country in the world 
where the people are afraid of the government, you know that there is tyranny, there is oppression, there is no freedom. But anytime the government are afraid of the people, there is freedom, there is liberty. The reason why it seems that we in Nigeria, we are like people who are in bondage already, we are like people who don't have say. You can't talk where a politician is talking. They have a mass power to themselves. You see, the mission, one of, or one of the mission of this protest is to begin to dismantle the power of politicians they have, they have, they have a mass to themselves and return it to the people. The government must be afraid of the people if we want a good country. The government must be afraid of the people if we want a good nation. We can't continue in a country where you can't even have say what happened. Your politicians are not interested. Everything they are doing is just against the people from the presidency down to the lowest level of the government. Everything they are doing is against the people. When you hear that they want to, you know, they want to do palliative, they want to supply palliatives to people, it is against the people. How? The money they will release for the palliative, they won't use it. They will use only 10 to 20 percent because if they are not using 10 to 20 percent, tell me how can they give half bag of rice to almost 200 people? Half bag of rice to 200 people. You said you are sharing palliative. You didn't ask them about the gas or kerosene they are going to use to cook the rice. Things are not just working well. Now, if they said they want to tie roads, watch closely the budget for the roads. It is still against the people. They want to build hospital. Watch the budget of the hospital. They were mass. They will. They will just embezzle money and make sure they build substandard hospital. And that is why their children cannot go to the hospital you are going. Their children cannot go to the school that you are going. Some of them have private businesses, but their children can go there. They will do everything. They will do is for you, you and you alone. These people don't believe in this country. They have, you know, so many things in abroad. All their all their loot. They take it abroad to establish companies and so on and so forth. Do you know that so many, I will not say so many because it is group of Nigeria politicians. Do you know that they have refineries outside Nigeria? That is why you see that Nigeria refinery can't work. No matter the stories they are telling you, we are going to make sure refinery will start last year, next year, giving stories up and here. What stops our refinery from working? And that is why they were trying to sabotage Dangote refinery because they know that if Dangote start his refinery, the production, they start supplying him everything, it will not help them to import the fuel they are refining from their own refinery in abroad. Nigerians will see all these things, they will hear all these things, they will still keep quiet. Now, if we do not rise above these people, see, history has demonstrated that when the government fails, the people should rise and make sure they correct that mentality. We have been psycho conviction that if you are fighting the government, it is this, it is that. No, it is your right. Protest is your right. Any civil disobedience is your right. It is your duty to rise above the government because many Nigerians don't know what it means to have a nation. Many Nigerians don't know what it means to have a country. We don't have one. If you know the meaning of a citizenship, what you are entitled to, what is your right and your benefit, let me tell you, so many of us don't know that you as a part or a citizen of a country, the oil well of that country belongs to you. The, the gold, you know, the gold that they are mining supposed to belongs to you. The presidential jet, the whole resources of the country belongs to you. Let me give you an example, further illustration. If Nigeria has the population of 180 to 200 million people, for example, and the total wealth Nigeria is generating is like 3 trillion. Divide that 3 trillion into 200 and, let me say 200 million people. 1% is your own. I hope you get that. 1% is supposed to be your own. That 1%, if they join it together, they're supposed to use it to tide your road have a good hospital for you. Why is it that if people are sick in Nigeria, if you don't have money, you go to hospital, they can't, you can't pay your bill, and they can't treat you without you paying in government hospitals. It is happening. There was a time I, I had an accident on bike. It was a very terrible accident, and I was rushed to the hospital. I think that was on Sunday. You know, when they were rushing me to hospital, I was losing blood. I can't forget that in a hurry. And I was very late to then. Now, when we got to the hospital, or one day general hospital to be precise, it's a, it's a government hospital. When we got to the hospital, the reason why they treated me is because one of my cousins was working there. The doctor said, number one, that I have to pay before they will start treating me. And that was emergency. I was losing breath. I was losing strength already. I can't even talk in a loud voice. I was telling them, I am losing strength. I am losing strength. It was that my cousin that rushed to bring uh, cold water. She bought mud for me. She bought all those things for me. Now, the reason why I'm giving all these stories is to tell you why Nigeria is not working. Someone is, is, a, is in, a, in an emergency situation. The person is losing blood before you. 
I can't forget that in a hurry. The memory is still in me. They were telling me that I have to deposit, I have to pay before they will start treatment. Where does it happen? Because we don't have a nation we can call our own. We don't have a nation at all. The same thing in school, in a public institution, maybe you are going to school. At 200, 300 level, you are unable to pay your school fees. They can tell you to leave the school. Government institution, the school belongs to you as a citizen. The school belongs to you, but people don't know all these things. The day Nigeria realized their right as citizens, that day Nigeria will turn upside down. Because our politicians, they are playing with us because of our ignorance. Our ignorance, our disunity is their power. But you know what? It is time. Anytime the government are afraid of the people, you know that there is liberty. So for these people to start having fear of what is coming, it's a liberty to the people. And let that continue. It is our duty to make the government to fear us. And we are going to set a system to make sure that this will be consistent. It is now or never. My wonderful people, welcome back as I've watched that video. <laughs> she been I don't hear them. Uh -huh. So they say, who get here? Make it here. Who not get here? Make it no here. I don't already tell now which I tell now. However, we support the protest. We are going to give you people anything, any assistance from over there. Uh -huh. So that the protest will go on. But the truth of the matter is this. If you want to solve a problem, please solve that problem by finding the root of that problem. You cannot solve a problem. Nigeria problem is not like Kenya problem. It's not like other Ken like for example, assume that Nigeria is all like Nigeria is all Yorubas or Nigeria is all houses. Then when you are coming in to solve the uh, maybe a, a thing like this happening, you know that's no part of our are saying they want to leave uh, Meduguri, they want to leave Sokoto, they want to leave, they want to stay on their own. You understand? But when you come for a country that uh, different people, they just different people entirely, and one person bring them together and say, hey, you, 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 you must be this, you must be this. You, today your name is Nigeria. And do you think that solving that problem is by buying all the whole politicians no it's not solving the problem because here there's a different language different mindset different i'm going to do another video to show you what i'm talking about what the yorubas are saying right now that is the Igbos are instigating this protest why all the whole people i'm seeing in the forefront of this protest none of them are Igbos. okay now when you come a country like this, do you think that by protesting, by chasing the politicians, you think that you can make it? That will be a point when things will be like it's working. You see, another heavy protest will break out from not those who don't agree in the protest. Say they want to be on their own. Another heavy protest will break out in the West, in the Eurobas. Say they want to stay on their own. The Niger Delta will say, okay, since it be like this, we want our own. Then the protests now have a different dimension. What the youth are fighting for? It's no longer what is going to happen. So the best thing the youth should be asking is, let there be restructuring. Let there be dialogue. Let there be a round table so that everybody will decide their fate. From there, we'll now, you will now know the way forward of the country. This is my own advice coming from Balabas G's. Please share this video and drop your own opinion in the comment section.